What is up guys? I'm Joshua Weisman and today we're going to talk about one of the most delicious soups that I have difficulty pronouncing, Tom Kagai. And I'm going to show you how to make it. Kagai. Sounds a little bit gross. It's not. Trust. So Tom Kagai is essentially a Thai coconut, lemongrass, and chicken soup. It's chock full of super duper powerful, powerfully, powerfully fit. God damn, it's a tongue twister. Powerfully flavored aromatics. It's got lemongrass in it. It's got galangal in it, which galangal is like a like sort of a cousin to ginger, sort of. It was ginger, but then that cousin like did a load of steroids and then it became galangal. There are three things in there that might be, sound a little exotic to you, but I promise you that an Asian market is guaranteed to have them. And plenty of markets kind of have that stuff nowadays too anyway. Point is, this is delicious. You should make it. It's not difficult and you'll be able to find the ingredients. Let's go. Now, before we get started, I just want to say a brief thank you so much, guys. We just hit a thousand subscribers, and you know, it's a small, but it's a big milestone, too. And, and, I'm, and I just want to say thank you. I read all of my comments, and I appreciate all of the support. I read all of them. But anyway, I'm actually going to do my job and show you how to make this. First thing you're going to need is two stalks of lemongrass. Now, before you slice the lemongrass, you have to bruise it. So use the spine of your knife, the back end, not the sharp end, and sort of whack the lemongrass until it gets all bruised up. You know, take all of your aggressions out on it. Pro tip, never cut your lemongrass at a straight angle. Cut it at a diagonal always. It'll cut so much easier and it won't completely screw your knife. Next, you're gonna need four shallots. You're gonna slice the top and the bottom off of each shallot and then cut them in half. That'll make it really easy to peel the skin off. Once they're peeled, you're just gonna roughly slice each shallot about a quarter of an inch thick. Now, next thing we have the galangal. Now, galangal's pretty cool. You can just slice this and leave the skin on, but I will tell you that it is extremely hard, so be careful cutting it. Don't roll your knife and cut your finger off, please. Just be super careful, because it is, like, look look how much I'm struggling. It's, it's depressing. Just start from one of the less dry ends and use a sharp knife. That is the most important piece. Next, take four Thai chilies and remove the stems. Now, you can increase this amount depending on how spicy you want it. Then, just slice them the same thickness as you did the galangal and the shallots. Then quarter about one cup of cremini mushrooms. Then you're gonna take one and a half pounds of skinless, boneless chicken breast and you're gonna cut that into one inch cubes. Now, heat one and a half tablespoons of a neutral tasting oil, I used avocado oil, in a six to eight quart pot over medium low heat. Next, you're gonna add all the vegetables except for the mushrooms and sweat them while stirring often for three to five minutes or until they become fragrant. Once the shallots have softened up a bit, you're gonna add four cups of full fat coconut milk. That equates to two 13 .5 five ounce cans. Then you're gonna add three cups of chicken stock. Give that a quick stir and add seven fresh kefir lime leaves. Be surprised where you can find kefir lime leaves, but if you can't find them at your local grocery store or Whole Foods, you can definitely find them at an Asian market. Bring that up over high heat, and once it starts to get close to a boil, reduce the heat to medium low and simmer for 25 to 30 minutes. Once it's done, strain it through a fine mesh colander or sieve. Really press out that flavor from all those aromatics that we just simmered. You know, you want to get that, that, that good, good. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and drop your spoon too. Now we just did that to get rid of all of the vegetables and aromatics that were in the soup. So now we're going to pour the soup back into the clean pot, bring it back up to a simmer over medium low heat and add your chicken and cremini mushroom. And just let that simmer for about 10 minutes or until the chicken is cooked through. Now I forgot to film this, but once it's done simmering and the chicken is cooked, you're just gonna add three stalks of Thai basil and three more kefir lime leaves just to steep like a tea. Now we're gonna season this with three tablespoons of palm sugar or brown sugar, a quarter cup plus one tablespoon of fish sauce, and finally the juice of one and a half limes. Now, serving this stuff is super simple, just like any other soup. Ladle some of the chicken, soup, mushrooms, all that jazz into a bowl. Garnish with some fresh Thai basil and fresh cilantro. And you don't need to spend an excessive amount of time worrying about where a leaf is going to go like I do. And optionally, you can add some chili oil for some extra kick. And as per tradition, roll the clip. And that is it. Tom Kagai, very simply put, it's really not that hard. You just gotta find the ingredients. They're all out there. And you can go to an Asian market, Whole Foods, they'll probably have it. Anyway, my camera's about to die, so I'm just gonna cut this off now. 
If you like this video, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you next week.